and then impersonating some of the best who ever played the game. Recently, our Jackie McMullen sat down with Kobe to talk about how watching legends impacted the way he plays. You see a lot of similarities in players. And, you know, there isn't a move that, that's a new move. There's nothing that hasn't been done before. I seriously have stolen all of these moves from these great players. I mean, <laughs> Let's look at Oscar Robertson. Take me through what you're watching. What I watched when I was a kid was just watching his body position and how he uses his body and then how he's freezing a defender and creating space and things like that. Yeah, he was blessed to have that big old booty. I don't have a big old booty, so I can't. <laughs> I gotta use other means to create space. I actually won the game with that one this morning. Right. That <laughs> quick release. Yeah. Same quick release. Yeah. Jerry West. Yeah, his his pull-up jump shot was absolutely vicious. See, that was just, he was more of a dynamic push, you see that right there. So Oscars was, you know, using his body, but you see Jerry's kind of like me, he's wiry, kind of uses quickness to get guys off. See? Nice, nice little up fake. I use that a lot too. I'm actually watching the defender a lot and trying to figure out, you know, what is he seeing as an offensive player to make him do what he's doing or why that, why that makes sense in terms of, you know, what is he thinking at that moment and why did that move work? So tell me what you knew about Elgin Bailey. Everything I heard about Elgin, everything I read about Elgin was that he was Dr. J and Michael Jordan before Dr. J and Michael Jordan. He gets to the basket, he do all these incredible things in the air. But I want to know, how did he get to the basket? <laughs> it's cool to be able to do all those fancy things, but how did he get there? What was the thing that set him apart? He had great footwork. Very explosive first step. Very strong, though. When you forget his size and how big he was and how strong he was. So once he dipped that shoulder and got by players, it was, it was basically a good night. You were at his mercy. That's pretty impressive. A lot of guys can't use the right foot being a foot, pivot foot, and the left foot being the foot that they use to fake. It's just an uncomfortable move for right-handed players. And he, I mean, he looked absolutely, absolutely natural in doing that. Magic's a lot of razzle-dazzle. He set that up from the beginning, though. He knew he had his man sitting right there, so it was just a matter of how he was going to get the ball to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he's seeing things before they ever happen. He's making these plays happen. Right. Yeah, that's what's crazy to me. I mean, he and I, you know, we're completely two different players. But still in all, a lot of things that I can learn, even just from my own philosophy, just because I love the game. It's his vision that sets him apart, isn't it? His court vision? Yeah, I mean, he's, his passing ability and his ability to see things on the court, it's second to none in my opinion. For some, it's passing. I Me, mean, I'm the best. I'm, I'm a scorer. I mean, that's what I do. I look at it as like a superhero, you know. Some have webs, some can fly, some can, you know what I mean? Everybody has their own thing that they do well or do better than, than the others. You were a magic guy. Mm -hmm. You didn't even really like Jordan, right? No, you know, I wasn't a fan of his, actually. I was a big magic fan, and so Michael was coming along. It was kind of like a territorial kind of thing <laughs> where, you know, I wanted to see magic win. Uh, but then once I realized I wasn't going to be 6'9 like my dad, I was pretty much stuck at this height. <laughs> That I started seeing a lot of similarities in terms of physique and things like that, things that I could learn from him at that size and how he worked. I've literally learned so much from him. I just try to you know, do him proud and do Jerry proud and Oscar Robinson proud and guys came before me because I learned so much from them. So that's, that's exactly how I look at it. You know, when I train or when I work out or when I prepare, I mean, it's, it's, it's all in the name of the game. You know, it's a lot bigger than, than me. Passing the torch. Thank you, Jackie. From Kobe to LeBron, after your late local news, ABC's Nightline sits down with LeBron James and asks him where he will hold court next season. That's after your late local news. Paul Pierce, he was the MVP of the NBA Finals two years ago when the Celtics beat the Lakers. His Celtics now down at halftime to the Lakers. If you don't watch the second half when we come back, something's wrong with you.